Nick Folk after close loss to Patriots, this one's on me. Nick Folk is deep in the kicking doldrums. During Tampa Bay's 19-14 primetime loss, the Buccaneers kicker missed three field goals of varying distance in the last three frames. After pushing 56 and 49-yard field goals near the end of the second and third periods, respectively, Folk overcompensated and pushed a 31-yarder wide left on Tampa Bay's first fourth-quarter drive. The miss earned him booze from Bucks fans at Raymond James Stadium. At the time of his third missed kick, the Bucks were nine points behind New England, a three-field goal deficit. Folk admitted after the loss that he deserves some blame for the defeat, telling reporters, per the Tampa Bay Times' Greg Allman, we left points out there. We should have won the game, 20-19. This one's on me. Buccaneers coach Dirk Cotter told reporters that, after speaking with general manager Jason Licht after the game, a chat on the state of the kicking position is forthcoming, but that they don't want to make any rash decisions. Folk, a veteran kicker who was a reliable threat of folk hero, even with the Jets for seven seasons, has been under the telelens ever since the start of training camp. Folk was brought in to compete with embattled second-year kicker Roberto Aguayo, who didn't live up to his second-round draft selection in his rookie season. When Aguayo flamed out in the preseason, the Bucks cut him on national television, handing the job to Folk. Since winning the job by default, Folk has struggled. He missed a field goal and an extra point in Tampa Bay's narrow win over the Giants in Week 3, nearly sinking the Buccaneers' ship, Folk's game winner salvaged the wreckage. His 0 for 3 Shang Kapalooza on Thursday night did. Folk is 6 for 11 on field goals and 7 for 9 on extra points through four games. Kotaro didn't see Folk's woes coming. It's unfortunate because, he's been really solid in practice, the thing that happened last week kind of came out of left field he told reporters after the game. There was no real indication that was coming. We only kicked live in practice one day this week, and Nick was lights out. So again, these last two weeks haven't been exactly what we're looking for. Of course, Nick will be the first to admit that. But still, it's a team game. We had other opportunities. Maybe it's not just folk. Tampa Bay has had a lingering place kicking problem dating back to last season. According to NFL research, the Buccaneers are 28 to 42, 66.7 PCT on field goals over the last two campaigns. Their 14 misses are four more than any other team during that time span. But in a season that has already seen out-of-nowhere success stories at the kicking position Jake Elliott and Harrison Bucker banging out winners at home, Greg Zwilline going 7-for-7 seven seven in Jerry World, and Giorgio Tavicchio earning a game ball after making four field goals on a day's notice Tampa's never-ending field goal woes stick out like a sore foot. How they correct that course won't just be the difference between winning and losing games, but between making and missing the postseason.